are finally conscious. Wonderful. We may finally begin the process. Now, in the very likely event that you have brain damage and can't remember what's going on, I will remind you, you were caught trying to escape sorrows. This is not something that your robot overlords are very fond of, so you're being sent to the salt mines of Nexus 6. Congratulations! I hear it is beautiful outside of the mines. Okay, so exciting. The salt mines. Have you ever been off planet before? I am not surprised by your answer. Most humans have never been off planet and they don't usually come back from the salt mines. Well, as beautiful as Nexus 6 is, there have been some interesting things going on lately. Uh, the planet is unstable, which means that many humans have found themselves um, with melted faces due to unforeseen incidents. Very unfortunate sorrows for the human workers, um, but due to our fantastic medical uh, here that we have designed for humans in mind, uh, we have been able to keep them alive, so they may continue to work for us. How exciting. Unfortunately, humans prefer face-to-face -face contact, and the no-face uh, often causes distress in the other humans. So, we are going to make sure, in the unlikely event that this happens to you, that we have a backup face. Oh yes, we have sculptors and robot artists who are extremely good at what they do. So what's going to happen here today is I'm going to take a very detailed um, examination, scan, I'm going to take a look at the color of your face and write it all down so that our sculptors may have one ready for you, just in case. I see that you have doubt on your face. You think because we are robots that we cannot do art like humans? That is not true. I will show you some successful cases. You are going to be blown away. Okay, let's see. I have some pictures here. This is a picture of one such human. You can see her face looks very natural and human-like. Next. Notice how well we are able to um, allow humans to express emotion. Look at this. What a gorgeous smile. Next. A human male. Face of human male. Very well done. Very well done. If that did not cause you amazement, I also have a picture with an array of different emotions. This face of human male is able to make a variety of emotion. This one, I believe, is pain. Here we have surprise. This is uh, disdain, I believe. Happy. What a beautiful smile. Uh, perhaps sad again, because humans are often sad, we have noticed. And this one, maybe anger? Um, I'm unsure. But that is not because of the sculptors, it is because as robots we often have a hard time understanding the emotions of humans. Something that we are indeed working on, and soon enough, we will overcome. Though emotions are silly, we do not need them ourselves, but understanding them is something that we need since we work closely with humans now. Okay, let's begin. Um, I'm going to put this heart monitoring device on your arm so that I may check your life levels, okay? I'm just going to put it over here. On your arm. There you go. And hold very still may accurately give readings. Now it's going to import the readings directly to the computer here. So, no need 
to fiddle with it. Okay. And just one moment, please stay still and uncross your legs. is yes. There we go. You are, you will learn. Don't worry. So, just a quick explanation. Basically, humans, um, their facial skin begins to age at 20 years of earth rotations, right? 20 earth rotations. So I need to measure the amount of aging in your face so that we have an accurate face to slap onto yours in the unlikely event. I will check your levels of collagen and elastin, as, uh, as well as many other things. Collagen, if you are unaware, determines how smooth your face is. And just getting a good look here. It's pretty smooth. Nothing like us robots. around your face, submit them, and then we'll get an average. How fragile the human epidermis is. Damaged by the sun. older than that? Yeah. Hmm. Like I said, the human epidermis is so fragile. Almost as fragile as their brains. Well, I'll go ahead and enter these readings so that Let's 
density of all three layers together. No worries. Hold still, I'm going to do just a slight pinch. Okay, ready? Pinch. Ready? Pinch. Ready? And pinch. Okay, ready? Collagen, the elastin levels of your skin is up par. Well, that's very normal for humans to be up par, correct? Did you not apply moisturizer or other serums? Oh, we do not supply those for humans. Yes, that's correct. Well, before the, yeah, the takeover. No, you didn't. Okay. Humans are so fascinating. Every time I do this, I just get so excited. Well, a version of excitement. supply humans with a good amount of liquids. Hmm. Clean liquids. You cannot drink unclean liquids. Hmm. I will take note. Stay still. Almost done. Just one more little. Please try not to pass out. <sighs> oh, you're conscious again. You had pass 
passed out. I am unsurprised. Many humans say that the scan is invasive and that is what causes it, but it's just the feeble brains. But don't mind. I, I don't mind. It's okay. It is very fascinating when you show the in and out part. Very interesting to watch. Okay, I'm going to check the moisture of your skin. Just, again, to make sure that the dehydration isn't causing an issue with the data. Now, this is a very special sensor that has a bunch of mini sensors on it. Um, so each one can collect data, and as I roll it across your skin, it will collect data from each area on your face. That way, I don't miss any bit. Okay, ready? Very good. You did a fantastic job on that one. Okay, and this is also going to give a sample to check the oiliness of your skin so that we can once again add that onto the face, your new face, if in the unlikely event. Okay, ready? on your face. Just if there are any parts, like some when they smile, have some dips and stuff. So I'm just gonna use my fingers to get a very preliminary reading. Then we'll move on to more measuring device. Okay. I'm going to use this to get accurate measurements of your face. Okay. Now please hold still, look forward. Okay. 
big forehead for so little thinking. Right, the brain is big compared to other life forms. Right. In humans, right, right. So it requires a lot of space or not that much. <laughs> Everything is 
is looking really good, and by that I mean my readings, they look very accurate. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on. I need to get the accurate shade of your skin. So there are highlights and lowlights, some parts are a bit more red than others, and there are other darker spots. So I'm just going to get an eyedropper tool, and we're going to get some of that, okay? Hold still. I'm going to do... Okay, enter that into the computer. Okay, and highlight. Okay, and enter that into the computer. And I'm also seeing underneath your eyes, there's a darker shade. Yeah, due to lack of sleep. Okay, and is that normal for you, lack of sleep? Yes, oh, so I will add that. Okay. Okay, I'm to add the computer. Just a tool I like to use to count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's a big one right there. Six, seven, eight, in total. Okay. 18. Fantastic. This way we 
we can recreate those. Just those little, those little details make the world of difference, don't they? Okay. Since humans seem to do that a lot. Okay, this is a subtle face. There's a look in their eyes. Very good. Eyebrows. Yep. Okay, very good. Now show me surprise. Show me some human surprise. Very similar almost, but okay, the eyebrows are the difference between the top lid and the other lids. Okay, it's mostly all in the eyebrows. The measurement between the eyelid and the eyebrows. And the relation of the hairline to the eyebrows. Let's check. Hairline to Right. Um, what other human emotion are there? Human emotion, human emotion. Um, mad? Okay, yeah, go ahead, show me mad. Similar to sad, but the eyebrows are a little... A lot of emotion is in the eyebrows. Humans emote quite a lot with their eyes, it seems. Okay. Um, any other emotion you'd like to show me? No? Okay. Well, that was very helpful. Yes, I'm sure they'll be able to work wonders with that information. Okay, so... I'm going to check the levels of keratinocytes corneocytes and um, the Lagerhans cells. So the keratinocytes are actually just the keratin from the lower levels of the skin. So I put um, it's this. It's going to check that for me. Check your keratinocytes. Um, will you please? Well, still, it's not going to hurt. It's just, just going to go deep into your skin for a second so we can measure those keratinocytes. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And ready, one, two, three. And up here, ready, one, two, three. And down here, ready, one, two, three. You are moving, we'll need to do it again. Ready? Check the levels. Here, ready, one, two, three. Okay, ready, one, two, three. And ready, one, two, three. Good. Now let's insert that into the computer. Good. We did get the levels there. The corneocytes are keratinocytes that have hardened on the outer layer, and that is why you're able to keep some 
uh, debris out. Okay, so I need to measure that. Okay, this device is going to measure those for me. Hold still, please. There we go. And let's put it right there. Alright, how are we feeling? Okay, I'd say that is a satisfactory answer. Sleepy. Humans do require a lot of recharging. <laughs> so do robots. I do not look down on you for that. Mm. Okay, so we're going to check those logger Han cells, which is another layer of cells that keep things from getting permeating the layer of the epidermis so to speak so to do that I'm just going to use my little device here ready and get ready ready okay one more levels of those, all three, seem to be very normal for your age. Fantastic. Right now, every minute or so, the human face sheds 30 to 40,000 skin cells. So, um, we're going to try and recreate your average amount of shedding for your new face in the unlikely event. Okay. Hold still, please. Should be sufficient. I will send that to the sculptors and they will know what to do with it and how many skin cells to program to fall off of your new human face. Okay, very good. Lastly, I need to make sure, again, detail is key and we want to make sure when you look in the mirror you see something that reminds you of your old face in the unlikely event. So I want it to be as detailed as possible. And this includes looking for um, 
eczema or dermatitis or, um, you know, boils, dandruff, melanoma, all different sorts of things that could be on your face. Rashes. So I'm going to take a quick look and even la rashes that are perhaps just starting to form and we cannot see them yet, so. This includes examination from myself, so hold still. Okay. to check the back of your head and your scalp. So I'll be right back, okay? and 
active member of the Overlord Robot Society. Mm, a good human worker is a subservient human worker. Please do remember that. Mm, yes. Okay, I'm going to let them know that you will be moving on to the next robot. Um, it was fantastic to be able to examine you today. Um, what is it how they say? Have a good uh, sleep or... Yes, 